What is it about this story and particularly the character of Mowgli that you think is so continually compelling for audiences? Right, so um, obviously this book was written in the in the 19th century and it's a long time ago, but um, I think it, it, it really is able to kind of apply to today's culture, especially for kids of, oh sorry, especially for kids of my age because um, I mean, obviously kids of my age, you know, teenagers with social media and everything, we are going through a lot. We're being, you know, people are being judged because they look a certain way or whatever and they're being forced to be a different person. They're not, they're being forced to not be true to themselves. And I think Mowgli, obviously it's on a much bigger scale, but he's fighting between these two worlds, the world of animals and the world of humans. And I think that really shows uh, uh, kids of my age and frankly everyone that they, that they can be true to themselves and they can pick their own unique path. You talk about working with a master storyteller like Andy Serkis and what that experience was like for you. Yeah, so Andy, I mean, he was really the king of motion cap of performance capture, and it's just, it really is amazing to just see see him in action, just even without the makeup or the, uh, the, the uh, just without anything. It's just amazing to see him with, just drop into the character and really just bring the character to life. And as far as working with him from, like, the actor and director's point of view, um, I mean, he is really just an actor's director. He knows what it's like to be in front of the camera. And it, 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 he also knows, like, obviously, you know, this is a complex character and everything, so he's there to guide me and to, to kind of push me through the role and get me into the mind of Mowgli while being able to give me that freedom that an actor really needs and able to explore, uh, to be able to explore and, um, and really discover their character. Talking about actors, it's an astonishing lineup of co-stars you have. I'm wondering how much of a chance you got to uh, work with them or to at least use their performances as reference while you were performing yourself. Yes, yeah, so actually, um, I, I did get to physically work with them, which was, you know, fantastic because it, it was really just amazing to uh, to work across from these guys, like Christian Bale, Kate Blanchett, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Andy Serkis. Obviously, they are the best at what they do. They are the best in the business, and it was really amazing to be able to get that that physical kind of uh, interaction with them and that that uh, that feedback that you don't get with um, with like a, a ping pong ball or a or a tennis ball or something. So yeah, certainly agree they're the best in the business. I'm curious, what do you think makes people I mean, guess like Benedict, like s such special talents to work alongside. Yeah, I really think that is that it is their uh, probably commitment to the role and the way they just really embody the character and they step into the shoes of the character and get into the head of the character and really bring that character to life. Um, yeah, I think that's that's probably what makes them the most successful. I mean, obviously, it is really great to work with them and to try to incorporate that into my own acting abilities. So.